Hello, friends, and welcome to the LSU Dynasties YouTube channel, home of the Legend Sports Universe Football League and Legend Sports Universe Dynasties. This broadcast is the Legend Sports Universe Football League's Eastern Conference semifinal matchup between the Raleigh Rhinos and the Nashville Nighthawks. The third matchup between these two division rivals this season. Again, they faced each other twice during the regular season. The Raleigh Rhinos made it to the playoffs as the wild card. Um, you'll see the semifinal matchups there. Raleigh and Nashville, Omaha and Hawaii will take on each other in the Western Conference semifinal matchup. But today's focus, Mike Tomlin's Rhinos try to pick up a elusive victory. The Rhinos were defeated by Nashville at home in week two of the regular season and then went into Nashville in week 17 of the 18-game season with an opportunity to win the division um, and fell short in a nail-biter, a very aggressive game, uh, plenty of penalties, a couple of uh, skirmishes as both quarterbacks were knocked out of the game for a spell. Um these two teams have built quite a rivalry this season. The, Night the Nighthawks started off the year 6-0 and and then went through a 3-7 and stretch midway through the season. And the Rhinos had caught them uh, atop the division lead. The Rhinos played the no-respect card frequently during the season as everybody's focus seemed to still be on Nashville. But then when Raleigh had the opportunity to lock up the division there in Week 17, they folded. Um, that's actually a hard criticism uh, that, to say they folded. They lost 13-10 in, in, like I said, a nip-and-tuck game. Um, and Nashville's big loss, they lost Fred Taylor in Week 8, and that kind of really changed their season. Um, they'd already lost a game before that, but Troy Aikman struggled a bit once uh, Fred Taylor was out. And um, so Nashville's tried to get the ship righted here at the end of the season. They were able to do so with the win against Raleigh and then the win against D.C. to clinch the decision. The, the division, rather, and that puts Raleigh on the road again um, to face Nashville, as they did two weeks ago, hoping for a different outcome. So we'll take a quick look at the team stats before we get the game going here. Trent Green at quarterback for the Rhinos had a terrific season. Um, Eric Dickerson, and Eric Dickerson is going to be key to this game. The leading rusher, 1,720, uh, 1,726 yards, 5.3 yards per carry. Andre Reed over 1,500 yards receiving. Um, over on the Nashville side, Troy Aikman, terrific season for him. DeMarco Murray and Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor will be the future back. Murray got his action, as we said. Fred Taylor was out for seven weeks. Um, actually, it was, it was actually nine weeks um, that Taylor missed. So having him back is a big asset. Not that he was terrific, but he was solid, and he made teams have to worry about the run a bit. And um, having him back is certainly going to help Aikman, who was – unbelievable at the start of the season and uh but once taylor went down aikman was inconsistent he wasn't terrible but he was inconsistent and um you know they, they're going to need the best version of troy aikman that they can get the better aikman does the better Devonte adams will do adams had a terrific season 122 receptions 1482 yards eight touchdowns and um stopping him is going to be a a big thing for raleigh they're gonna have to kind of keep him and aikman under control as we look at the team defenses, Raleigh actually allowed fewer points during the season. Um, these two teams were 1-2 in the league in sacks. Nashville led with 66, led by Trent Cole's 14. Raleigh amassed 58, led by Bubba Baker's league-leading 20 sacks. So uh, neither Green or Aikman are going to have much of a chance to get comfortable. But the difference here could be, um, while Raleigh ranks fourth in run defense and Nashville is fifth, Nashville's pass defense ranks fourth. Raleigh's ranks 14th. Um, so if Nashville can find a way to get Aikman some protection, him and Adams um, could produce some, some big things, and that could be the margin of victory here. And with that, we are ready to approach kickoff time. Uh, this one should, should be fun. And uh, the storyline, can Nashville win against the same team for a third time? Um, that is a tall order, but asking Raleigh to go into Nashville and, and win a playoff game in that atmosphere is um, possibly a, a bigger task. The game has the line of the game as Raleigh favored by three. Um, 
but uh, we, we will see how that transpires. That's that's going to be uh, it. This is a tough order for Raleigh to try to pull this off. But let's see what happens. We are looking here. Nobody is injured. A quick look at what uh, Mike Tomlin and Marty Schottenheimer have laid out for their teams. And um, again, we look at those overall ratings. I use the whole breadth of ratings on the one to nine scale. Um, I created the Raider, the player ratings for all of these teams. So there's a lot more differentiation among among players from top to bottom than there normally would be. I think that's the better way to go. Um, so you're going to see overalls as a little bit low. These are going to go up each year as new draftees come in. The teams are on the field, and we are ready for kickoff here. The Eastern Conference semifinal is underway. Kickoff here from Mike Kofer. Kofer going to blast it deep. It's going to be taken in the end zone. Run out, past the 10, out across the 15, out across the 20, 25, 30, and a good start for Raleigh. Great return there by Corey Harris out to the 32, and that's where they're going to start. Trent Green and company on the field to start it off, and there is movement before the play on the first snap of the game. That is going to drive Mike Tomlin absolutely crazy. First and 15 after a big return, not what you want to see if you are the Raleigh Rhinos. Screen pass there to Andre Reed, a quick out for five yards. It's going to be second and 10. Green drops back, fires over the middle, hits Darren Waller. Waller out across the 40, pickup of nine, brought down by Leon White out to the 41. It's a third and one situation now. Green gives it to Dickerson up the middle, and it looks like he got it. Brett Maxey hit him, but he got past the line. So a first down, fresh set of downs here for Raleigh. Green over the middle, a short little slant to Waller. Waller second on the Rhinos in receptions this year with 96. Second and eight. Green drops back again. He's under pressure. Fires left. Going for a big one here, but it is incomplete. Third down and eight. Raleigh at their own 44. Green drops back. Green looking. Fires to the right. Hits Andre Reed for seven. He's short of the first down. Nice tackle there by Jarris White. So Raleigh's first drive is going to end in a punt here. That ball is belted down inside the 15, inside the 10. They're going to call it out of bounds at the 9. Brett Kern pins Nashville deep, and the Nighthawks are going to start their opening drive. Troy Aikman under center. Aikman hand off to Fred Taylor, as we've mentioned previously. Taylor gone for nine weeks with a hamstring injury, but he runs one off here. 14 yards for a pickup there. Get some breathing room for Nashville. Taylor gets it again. Running right, this time he's buried for a two-yard loss. Eric Williams with the stop, second and 12. Man in motion. They're loaded up on the right side, but a handoff to Taylor again. So they're not worried about Taylor's health here as they've gone to him three straight times off the start. Trap, Taylor picks up seven. Williams brings him down again. We are at third and five from the Nashville 28. Aikman drops back over the middle. That one is incomplete. Fourth down, and Nashville is going to bring on Chris Gardaki for the punt here. We are scoreless through each team's first drives. Um, this figures to be a fairly hotly defensive contested game, largely because of the the you know, playoffs always are. Gardaki, 43-yard punt there. Playoffs tend to be defensive, but especially with the pressure that both teams can put on the quarterback, um, strong pass offense is going to be difficult to come by here. Green's first down pass there is incomplete. Second down and another flag on Raleigh. Movement before the play again. So now, five yards there. That'll push them back. Second and 15. Green drops back. He is under pressure. And down goes Green. Michael Sinclair with the sack. Sinclair, 10 sacks during the regular season. Third on Nashville um, behind Trent Cole and Greg Brown. Green's pass there on third and 21. Incomplete intended for Andre Reed. So Raleigh has not been able to get anything started here in the early going. They're going to punt now. Nashville potential here with real good field position, depending on what happens. That's a good punt, though. Kern hit that ball well, 48 yards. O.J. McDuffie tries to return and only picks up a yard. So Nashville will start out from their own 35. Aikman fires, hits Andre Roberts there. Pickup of nine brought down by Eric Turner. It is second and one. Aikman back to pass again. This time he hits favorite target, Devontae Adams. And Adams breaks a tackle there. That looked like a short gain. Adams ends up breaking it for 20 before Sam Madison trips him up. And Nashville is down inside the Raleigh 40. Pitch right, Fred Taylor. Taylor gets stacked, though. Bill Stanfield, first guy in. Second and 11 for the Nighthawks. 
We're going to try to go this way. This time it's DeMarco Murray with his first carry of the game. Bubba Baker brings him down after a three-yard pickup. It is third and eight. Uh, five and a half minutes left here in the first quarter. Aikman drops back to pass. Hits Adams again. This one is a first down, 11-yard pickup. Madison struggling with Devontae Adams early. First down for Nashville. Down to the 23. Aikman back to pass again. Incomplete. Intended for Taylor out of the backfield. Second and 10, 451 on the clock here in the first. Aikman over the middle, hits Adams again. They're going to have to do something about that tandem. Adams' his third pickup, a first down. James Farrier brings him down. First down here, pitch, ride. Thomas Jones, his first carry of the game. Nice counter there. He picks up nine, and he is down inside the Raleigh five-yard line. Second and one, Aikman throws. Touchdown, Devontae Adams. Well, we talked about that combination before this game started, and it is come to fruition here in the first. Nashville strikes first. Aikman to Adams. Extra point attempt here from Mike Kofer, and it is good. The Nashville Nighthawks take the early lead, 7-0. Troy Aikman, 5 of 6 for 54 yards on that drive. Four of those receptions to Devontae Adams. We're always going to have to do something about that. Mike Tomlin knows it. So here's the kickoff. Preston Pearson. Pearson out across the 20 to the 23, and that's where Trent Green will try to get to work here with Raleigh. Handoff Dickerson, and Dickerson is tripped up. Trent Cole, team leader in sacks with 14, solid against the run as well. Gets Dickerson for a three yard loss. Green looks for Andre Reed there, incomplete. So it's third and 13 for the Rhinos, who just have not gotten anything going yet. Pass over the middle. Dickerson out of the backfield, and Dickerson picks up 16 for the first down. Jerry Osavsky brings him down across the 35, but something there for Raleigh. Quick out to Reed. They've gone short to Reed every time so far. Offsetting penalties. We'll kind of have a do over here. So first and 10 from the 37. Quick throw left. C.D. Lamb. On a quick out, only picks up three, second and seven, as we tick down here in the first quarter. Green drops back, and Green is sacked. Brian Erlacher comes up the middle to get him. Erlacher, two sacks during the regular season. Pass here from Green, and he hits Darren Waller. Waller picks up 17, first down on a third and 11 conversion. That is going to bring us to the end of the first quarter. Nashville leads 7-0. Three carries minus six yards for Dickerson in the first quarter. Raleigh's going to need more than that. But Preston Pearson gets the first carry here in the second. Pickup of three, second and seven. Raleigh out around midfield trying to get something done. There's the pass. Dickerson out of the backfield. His second reception of the game. He's not rushing well, but he's got two catches now. I believe he's over 30 yards. That's a 15-yard pickup. And there's the handoff. Counter only two. Michael Carter brings him down. Second and eight. Dickerson still not getting untracked on the ground, but contributing nonetheless. And a delay of game call. I'll tell you, Raleigh has had two false starts on first downs of drives and a delay of game call. Three poor penalties, and Mike Tomlin is not going to be happy about that. Just a discipline issue so far. Third and 12 after the one-yard run there from Pearson. Green out of the shotgun, throws it wide left. Dickerson again. Only a pickup of five, though. Dante Jones brings him down, and it's going to be Bobby Howfield coming on to attempt the 43-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up. That is hooking, and that is going to be wide left. Howfield hooks it. Nashville's lead stays 7 0. And uh, Raleigh really could have used some points there just to try to take some of the momentum back here. Good field position starting from their 33. Flag down after the incomplete pass. Offensive holding on Nashville. Their first penalty of the game. That's going to push them back 10 yards. Down. Taylor there with a little short pass. Picks up five. Second and 15 from the 28. Aikman in shotgun formation. He's under pressure there, and down he goes. Eric Williams picks up the sack. We're going to go and change the timer here again. This is kind of moving way too quick. <laughs> no chance to breathe or really describe the play a little bit. So we're going to play with this a little bit. We'll go to, let's go to eight seconds between the plays and see what happens. 
Yeah, I've not. This is the first broadcast that I've done, so having to think about the amount of time between plays is not something I've had to consider so far. Aikman back to pass, and he is brought down again. This time, Bill Stanfill. Stanfill takes him down. Second for Raleigh on the season with nine sacks. Fourth down, Gardaki on to punt. We're down inside 10 minutes left in the first half. Nashville Nighthawks leading 7-0. Fair catch there from C.D. Lamb after the 40-yard punt from Gardaki. Good field position for Raleigh. They're going to see if they can convert it into something. Man in motion. Shotgun. Green. Hand off to Dickerson. And Dickerson is crushed. They have not gotten anything going. Nashville's defense looks really, really sharp here in this first half. One yard loss, second and 11 from the 42. Man in motion again. Draw play to Dickerson. Nothing up the middle. Dickerson bounces it outside, but he's still only able to pick up a couple. They say three, actually. Leon White with the tackle. It's going to be third and eight for the Rhinos. Shotgun formation. Green sticking with that. Drops back. Pass, and he hits Reed, not Andre Reed, it's Alvin Reed, the tight end, 16-yard pickup, big first down on the third down conversion there, John Lynch is the one who trips him up, but probably down to the Nashville 39, hand off to Dickerson, Dickerson with a little bit of room, his best carry of the day, picks up six, White brings him down, second and four, as we get down to seven minutes left in the half. Second and four from the 33. Green keeps it an oddly conservative play call there. Uh, from, you know, second and four. Not really sure why you would sneak there. But Green picks up two. Stopped by Michael Carter. But now this creates a big third and two situation. Hand off Dickerson. Stopped up the middle. Pops it outside again. Picks up six. Erlacher with the tackle. But there is a flag on the play. Let's see what the call is here. An illegal block. So Raleigh loses the first down opportunity. Instead, it is third and 12. That also pushes them back out of Howfield's field goal range. So probably kind of shooting themselves in the foot a little bit here. Green rolls right, throws over the middle, hits Waller. Big conversion again. Raleigh has come up with a couple of those. Waller for 15 yards. Neil Stimson with the tackle at the 26, but a first down for Raleigh. Hand off Dickerson. Second Tries down. to go off tackle, cuts it back, brought down by White again. I believe that's White's fourth tackle already. It's the third on this drive. Um, Dickerson picks up one. Second and nine. About four and a half minutes left in the half. Green throws it wide for Dickerson. He is brought down. Pick up of three down to the 22. They actually say he stepped out of bounds. No credit on the tackle there. Third and six for the Rhinos. Down four minutes left. Raleigh really hoping to come out of this with some points. Incomplete. Pass over the middle from Green. There was nobody there. That was a horrible play. Um, nowhere near a completion. Intended supposedly for, Rob for Robinson, but uh, I'm not sure about that. Too many men on the field is the call there. Raleigh just really... Uh, Mike Tomlin's going to have... You can tell what that locker room conversation is going to be at halftime. Um, discipline has been completely absent for the Rhinos here. Howfield converts the 39-yard kick, though, so the Rhinos do get onto the board as we get down to about the three-minute mark here in the half. Raleigh makes it 7-3. Ten plays, only 35 yards picked up, though, there. That penalty was, was significant. Um, so the Nighthawks hold on to a 7-3 lead. They will get the ball back. With a little bit of time to work, um, so they don't have to try to rush to get points before the half. Well into the end zone, that ball is downed. Touchback, Nashville will start off from their 20. Nashville is set to receive to start the second half, so points here before halftime would be huge to give them a real opportunity to build up a, build up a lead. Taylor off tackle for two, Bubba Baker with the stop there. Second and eight for Nashville from the 27 coming up. Aikman in shotgun formation. Hand off Taylor. Read beautifully by Raleigh. Bunch of guys in on the tackle. Grady Jarrett will get credit for the hit. No gain. And we are at third and eight. Still from the 27. Approaching the two-minute warning here. They do get the play off, though. Hand off to Taylor on the draw. Nothing much up the middle, but Taylor bounces it out and gets a first down. Ten-yard pickup. Brought down by Rich Wingo. 
But there is an injury on the play. Taylor is down with that hamstring, and this could be bad. Taylor missed nine weeks, as we said, with a hamstring injury. Thomas Jones is going to come in for him. We are at the two-minute warning, but right now the concern for Nashville is the status of Taylor. Pass from Aikman wide. Davis with the reception. Rasheed Davis pick up of seven out of bounds. will stop the clock. Second and three. Nashville out at the 44-yard line. Aikman drops back. Pressure coming from his right, but he senses it gets rid of the pass. John Hilton with the 10-yard reception there brought down by Sam Madison. It's a new set of downs for Nashville. They're hurrying to the line. They still have all their timeouts left. Aikman drops back, incomplete. throws the out Second incomplete down. there, intended for Rashid Davis. There is a flag, however, on the play. Let's see what the call is. Offensive holding. So Nashville takes its first real bad penalty of the game. And uh, that was set up first and 20, push them back into their own territory. Raleigh happy to see that break. Quick one there. Owen Daniels, but Lewis breathing right on top of it. Only a one-yard pickup, second and 19. Nashville still hard on the line. They're not using their timeouts unless they have to. They're not really in striking distance right now, so they're not too worried about that. If they get closer, they'll start worrying about timeout management. Pass to O.J. McDuffie, pickup of 10. Another flag is on the play. Let's see what this call is. Offsides on Raleigh. Nashville will decline that, um, so they will... Take it now, third and nine at the Raleigh 45. I'm not sure I necessarily would have declined that call there. Incomplete. Pass incomplete. Possibly taking an extra down. That pass intended for John Hilton. So nothing comes of the drive here as we are inside the one-minute mark of the half. Nashville will punt. Chris Gardaki will try to pin the Rhinos deep. Angling this one here towards the near side. Down inside the 10, that's out of bounds around the 7-yard line. So Raleigh is going to probably just kind of run this clock out. Um, down around probably, it's, we're at 44 seconds. Fred Taylor stretching around on the sideline. So it looks like Taylor is, is going to be okay and crisis is averted for Nashville. We'll probably find that out in the second half. 44 seconds left, handoff. Curtis Dickey right into the line. He is hit by Brian Erlocker. No gain, second and 10. And Nashville is going to take the time out here. So Nashville is going to try to make Raleigh run through its set of downs, hope for a punt, and maybe something happens. Hand off Preston Pearson out to the right side. Leon White is all over it. Two-yard pickup. That'll get third and eight. Nashville will use another timeout here. Stop the clock again. 32 seconds left. Third and eight from the nine. Hand off Dickerson up the middle. Oh, Dickerson breaks it. He's got one man to beat, and Dickerson loses the ball. Dickerson loses the ball at the 25. Nashville has it. What an unbelievable turn. We looked like we were going to half here at 7-3. Dickerson is down. They're looking at his ankle, but the fumble is the big story here at the, at the moment. We'll deal with Dickerson when the second half resumes, but Nashville has a chance to really get add some points here. O.J. McDuffie, three-yard reception, second and seven, only one timeout left. McDuffie would have liked to get out of bounds there, but no such luck. That injury to Dickerson didn't seem overly serious, but we'll find out for sure in the second half. But what an opportunity here for Nashville, although so far they're having a hard time converting. Incomplete pass there intended for McDuffie, third and seven. It was weird they haven't really gone to Adams much since that opening, uh, since that earlier drive, the second drive of the game, I should say, I believe, um, that led to the score. Colfer is going to come on here for the field goal on third and seven. They didn't want to mess with the clock. I guess they would take a chance. They would uh, muff the snap or something. So they go for the field goal there. Kofer hits it from 39. Nashville goes up 10 to 3. 10 seconds left. Nashville had an opportunity to go for the end zone there. That's a little bit of a peculiar call there by Marty Schottenheimer. But they're going to go for the field goal. Settle for that. Take the 10 3 lead. Here's the kick. Harris out across the 30, out across the 35. So another good return from Corey Harris. He's out to the 37. It's probably going to be time for one play, but I can't believe Raleigh's really going to even try to do anything of significance with it. Although it looks like they are. They've loaded the right side. Trent Green back. He's going to air this one out. 
Hail Mary, Nashville knows that play all too well. They won a, the game against Los Angeles in week, I believe it was 15, with a last-second Hail Mary. This one, however, falls down to the ground, and we head into the half of the Eastern Conference semifinal. Nashville with a 10-3 lead. So there are your halftime stats. 10-3 Nashville. Raleigh's had the ball more, but the real stat there, 14 carries, 29 yards for Raleigh. Uh, largely Eric Dickerson, of course, plus Dickerson's fumble, which led to the field goal there at the end of the half. Um, the Rhinos need Eric Dickerson to turn it on in the second half. There's no two ways about that. Um, we're going to get going here. Second half kickoff. Nashville gets the ball back, fresh off of the... Uh, the field goal there to end the half. So um, a chance to really build up a significant margin here for a, against a Raleigh offense that has not done anything so far. Andre Roberts fields the kickoff, and he's out across 35, out across the 40. So we've had a few really big kickoff returns in, this, uh, in the game so far. Roberts out to the 42. So the Nighthawks start off the second half with great field position. Aikman drops back to pass. Looks deep down the left-hand side. It is caught. O.J. McDuffie down inside the 40 pickup of 21. Eric Turner brings him down, but that is about as good a start as Nashville could have hoped for here. Fred Taylor, as you can see, is in the backfield, so Taylor is fine. A sigh of relief there for Nashville. And there's Devontae Adams. Adams down inside the 20-yard line. We lamented that it seemed like after the drive where Adams scored the touchdown, Nashville wasn't really looking for him too much. But Aikman and Adams hook up again here. You can see Dickerson stretching on the sideline there for Raleigh. So he's going to be good to go, it appears. And uh, they're on the verge of really needing him now because Nashville looks like they're going to threaten to score again. DeMarco Murray runs it to the right-hand side. Pick up a four. James Farrier brings him down. Down to the Raleigh 12. Second and six. Aikman, Taylor, the lone setback. Man in motion. Aikman, handoff Taylor up the middle. And Fred Taylor is in. Touchdown, 12-yard carry for Fred Taylor. We're going to change this clock here. The eight seconds is a little bit long. It's going to kind of set ourselves at five. But anyway, Fred Taylor on a trap up the middle, 12-yard touchdown, and Mike Colfer is going to come on and try to give Nashville a 14-point lead here. That kick is up, looks good, is good. 17-3 Nashville. And Raleigh has some heavy lifting to do, folks. Raleigh's offense has just not done a thing yet. And um, so we'll see what the halftime speech was. I'm sure discipline, as we said earlier, was part of it. Some really poor penalties and a couple of really inopportune times. And uh, so I'm sure Mike Tomlin laid into his crew. One thing that has not been a problem, Corey Harris has been terrific on returns so far for Raleigh. Taken at the 8, 32 yards, out to the 40. Great field position there for Raleigh to start it off. Dickerson out of the backfield again, and Dickerson's out across midfield, inside the 40, inside the 35, inside the 30, 25-yard line. Dickerson, 35 yards out of the backfield. He still has not gotten untracked on the ground, but he's still been a weapon, and that's the sign of a great player. There's Dickerson up the middle on the draw, picks up three, Erlacher pops him one, second and seven. A little bit over 11 minutes left here in the third quarter. Dickerson out wide, chased by seemingly everybody on Nashville, and he's run out of bounds. So Nashville has keyed on the run, and they have been able to kind of neutralize Dickerson. Green shakes off a tackler, fires Andre Reed down inside the 10. Penalty on the play. We'll wait and see what the call is here. It's a personal foul. On Nashville, so I'll go after the play, and now Raleigh first and goal from the four. Green, Dickerson, touchdown. touchdown. And boy, did the Raleigh Rhinos need that. No, oh, wait, there's a flag on the play. Defensive holding on Nashville, declined. The touchdown will stand. Dickerson gets into the end zone, and Raleigh has a sign of life. Ten and a half minutes left. The extra point here from Howfield will presumably be good, and it is. Raleigh trims the deficit to 17-10. Boy, did they ever need that. So five plays, 60 yards, a little bit over two minutes. Nashville now has to see how they answer. Kind of the first real bit of adversity for them in this game. 
kick off. A little bit short. Taking it to five, Andre Roberts. And across 20, 25, 30, 35. Out to the 37. The run of good kickoff returns in this game continues. And uh, Nashville gets a good start here. Pitch to Marco Mario wide out across the 40, 42, 43 yard line. DeMarco at the 43, pickup of five, second and five. We are now inside 10 minutes left here in the third quarter. Handoff Thomas Jones up the middle. Jones picks up the first down. That seems like it might be a little bit of a generous spot there, but regardless, first down for the Nighthawks. Aikman drops back. He's under pressure and down he goes. Bill Stanfield, his second sack of the game. And Andre Roberts is down. That's that's an odd one. To, uh, Roberts looks out of it. And that was a. I'm not really sure what would have happened there. I mean, that's a quarterback sack. That may have been residual from something earlier on in the game. But Roberts does not look good going off the field. Um, Aikman there looks for Demarco Murray. That's incomplete. Defended by Sam Madison. We are here a little bit over eight minutes left. Pass. Hits Arthur Marshall. Pick up of eight. That's not going to get it done. Fourth and nine. And Nashville's going to have to punt. So Gardaki comes on. And the Rhinos are feeling a little bit of momentum here now. We're going to have to see how the rest of this plays out. But um, Nashville is seemingly kind of on their heels right now. CeeDee Lamb with a risky fair catch there inside the ten. Calls the fair catch at the nine. Handoff, Curtis Dickey bounces it out wide, not much there. Pickup of three, they'll say. Looks like a kind of a long three. But um, Michael Carter with the stop, second and seven from the Raleigh 12. Trent Green, handoff, there's Dickerson, out across the 15, out across the 20, and there's Dickerson's best run of the game. He's out across the 35, out across the 40. Dickerson midfield, he is into Nashville territory. 41 yards, and that's the one that they needed. Oh, boy, did Raleigh ever need to see that from Eric Dickerson. And Nashville was struggling here. Good response there to come back and bury Dickerson. John Lynch read that play beautifully, second and 12. But even so, Raleigh has taken the momentum here. Green, handoff, Dickerson, draw, pops it outside. Pickup of his about seven to two, the Nashville 42, third and five for Raleigh. Raleigh has converted a few third downs in this game. They're going to try to get another one here. Green from the shotgun. And now it's a draw. Preston Pearson and Nashville didn't bite. Michael Sinclair with the stop, fourth and three. And Kern comes on for the punt. He's going to try to pin Nashville deep. That is angled inside the 10. Good job there by Kern. Brett Kern puts it out of bounds at the four. Nashville will start deep from their own territory. Aikman, draw play Taylor and Raleigh. Does not bite. Peter Sermon stops Taylor cold. They're going to give him a yard there, but I think that's generous. Hand off to Marco Murray, and Raleigh is all over it again. So the Rhinos now have all of the momentum. They are playing like a team with a fire in their belly. Mike Tomlin very animated on the sideline. Marty Schottenheimer stoic as he kind of watches what he's hoping is not going to be this game slip away from Nashville. Bill Stanfield is down. Stanfield, two sacks in the game. That would be a big loss, but that doesn't seem to be something major. We should see Stanfield again. So, three and out from deep in their own territory. Gardaki with the punt. Lamb with the fair catch, but Raleigh, good field position. They will start from their own 42. Here as we are about two minutes left in the third quarter here of the Eastern Conference semifinal. Nashville holding a 17-10 lead. Penalty. Quick out wide here, Andre Reed. That's a pickup of six. Stanfield looks all right over on the sideline. We should see him back when Raleigh's defense gets back on the field. There is a penalty, and that is a second personal foul on Nashville. We mentioned coming into the game that these teams do not like each other, that the Week 17 matchup got very, very chippy, and we're seeing some of that here. Nashville's second personal foul of the game, and that's just that's something that's going to drive Marty Schottenheimer absolutely crazy. You can't be doing that in this situation. Chris Sanders with his first reception, I believe, of the game. Pick up a four there. Down to the Nashville 31, third and four in the final minute of the third quarter. Andre Reed, short pass, pick up a five. Dante Jones, Raleigh very happy to take little chunks of yardage right now. They do get the playoff before the end of the third. Curtis Dickey up the middle. 
pick up a four Urlacher in on the tackle, and that's going to bring the third quarter whistle, 17-10 Nashville. Tell you, those rushing numbers look a lot better for Raleigh than they did at halftime. 24 carries now, 95 yards. That 41-yarder that Dickerson ripped off, certainly kind of changing the field. We open the fourth quarter. Handoff there gets us to a third and four. Raleigh knocking again. Handoff Dickerson up the middle. Dickerson breaks it. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, Eric Dickerson. Touchdown. Raleigh gets a 20-yard touchdown run from Dickerson, and they're going to have the opportunity to tie this game. Oh, boy, the crowd in Nashville is silent. The Rhinos have come back here, and they have dominated this second half. They have taken all of the momentum from this game, and Nashville's got to do something now to stem this tide. Howfield's extra point goes through. We are tied at 17, 14, and a little bit of change left in the game. Howfield's kick here, taken at the 5. O.J. McDuffie out across the 20, out across the 25 to about the 30. I think they'll mark it, yeah, they'll mark it right at the 30, 23-yard return there. So Aikman and company get to work, and they have some work to do. They've just got to do something that's going to kind of calm Raleigh down because they have all the energy, and um, this would be this would be a rough one for Nashville to, to to let get away. They had this game completely in their hands. Encroachment on Raleigh. Nashville will take that five yards, second and five from the thirty-five. Aikman. Murray, and Raleigh is all over it. Man, by the time that play was done, it seemed like every member of the Rhinos, including guys on the bench, were in on the tackle there. DeMarco Murray had nowhere to go. Third and six. Aikman, incomplete. And Nashville, three and out. Oh, my goodness. Nashville just, they, they can't do anything right now. The only one who can do anything right now, it appears, is Chris Gardaki, who's punted very well all day. That is taking out the 20, C.D. Lamb. He'll pick up about seven on the return. They'll call it six to the 28. Raleigh starts off first and 10 from their 28, 13, 10 remaining. Handoff Dickerson, Raleigh all over that play. Dante Jones with the hit, second and 14. That's a big loss there. Green in the shotgun. Man is in motion. Flag on the play. Movement before. Oh, boy. False start. Another five yards. Mike Tomlin just with a glare on the Raleigh Rhino sideline. Second and 19. Shotgun. And off they give the pitch to Dickerson. Dickerson runs it. Dickerson out across the 30. Dickerson picks up 16 out to the 35. Second and 19 turns to third and three. And oh boy, Eric Dickerson looking like himself now. Green drops back. Fires over the middle. That is caught. Andre Reed inside the 40, inside the 35. Raleigh has completely taken control. Nashville, that, that somebody's got to plug the leaks right now. Hand off Curtis Dickey. Two yards. Ah, one. They're going to call it one. Jerry Olsavsky gets him second and nine. I tell you, if Raleigh, if Raleigh scores here, Nashville's in deep, deep trouble. Michael Sinclair stops Dickey there. Dickerson getting a little bit of a breather. He's back on the field now, though. Shotgun, third and six. Quick out wide. Chris Sanders with the reception, but that is not going to be sufficient. Four yards, fourth and two. Bobby Howfield will come on for a field goal attempt. This should be 43 yards. And that looks like he hooked it. Howfield misses his second of the game wide left, and that could come back to bite Raleigh. So Nashville will hopefully, in, in their case, use that missed field goal as a means to seize back some sort of control of this game because they have had none, at least not in the second half. Oh, but that could change that. Aikman deep, Devontae Adams inside the 35. Down to the Raleigh 32, Eric Turner, and just like that, the crowd has woken up here in Nashville. Aikman, handoff. Taylor, stop. James Farrier with another tackle. Second and nine. We are inside the eight-minute mark. Aikman hits McDuffie on a slant. Five-yard pickup brought down by James Farrier. That's going to be third and four now at the Raleigh 26. Aikman in the shotgun. He's got five guys wide. Over the middle, complete. 
First down. Arthur Marshall, 14 yards down inside the 15, brought down at the 12 by Rich Wingo. Hut, hut. We are now at six and a half left. Aikman throws right. Oh. It is picked off. Injury. Sam Madison. Madison, who was having problems with Devontae Adams all during the first half, was beaten several times. Comes up huge here. Man, you can't come up bigger than that. An interception <laughs> at the one. Stunned silence in Nashville. Complete. Second down. Trent Green drops back. Looks for Darren Waller. Wow. Just when you thought Nashville had taken the momentum back, that comes to a screeching halt. Aikman slams his helmet down in disbelief on the sideline. Trent Green, in the meantime, hits Andre Reed for five yards. We're going to set up a third and five here. We are now inside the six-minute mark. Green swings it to Dickerson. Dickerson gets the first down and more out across the 15, out across the 20, the 25. Eric Dickerson, 24 yards on the screen. John Lynch gets him around the ankles. But a big first down, big third down conversion from deep in their own end for Raleigh. And here come the Rhinos. Handoff, Dickerson gets wide. Not much there. Two-yard pickup, three-yard pickup, they say. Ultimately forced out of bounds at the 33, second and seven. Five minutes left in the game. Or at least in regulation. Third down, penalty. Alvin Reed, there's the reception pickup of six, but there is a flag on the play. And a pass interference call uh, goes against Nashville. Raleigh will accept that first down at the 35. Preston Pearson, handoff, only picks up a yard. Erlocker with yet another tackle on the day. That ball is out now to the 34. A little bit over four minutes remaining. Handoff, Dickerson. Dickerson out across the 35. Stops at the 39. A little bit of a dog shake there in the booth. Michael Sinclair with the tackle. Lewis Breeden, who had gone down earlier, seems to be fine now. He's going to be back in this game once Raleigh's defense takes the field. Third and six at the 39. Pass. Andre Reed, not deep enough. Five yards stopped, fourth and one. And there's just there's no way that they're going to go for it there. So Brett Kern comes on for the punt. We are inside the three-minute mark. Kern angles it. Gets a good hold of this one. Out of bounds at the four. Brett Kern, 52-yard bomb. Nashville starts from their four-yard line. In less than three minutes left. Hand off Fred Taylor. Taylor stopped by Jeff Cross. There's a flag on the play. An illegal block. Man, you would think they would have gotten better result than that after an illegal block, but no such luck. So only backs them up. First and 12. I'm not sure I would have accepted that penalty. Injury. Given the lack of yardage, it benefited them. Aikman short pass to Owen Daniels for four. Daniels is kind of getting up slowly. He's going to come out of this game. Derek Walker will replace him. 2.06 left. Aikman drops back. Aikman under pressure in the end zone. He does get rid of it, and he hits Fred Taylor out of the backfield. Taylor out across the 25, out across the 30. 27-yard pickup out to the Nashville 33. Two-minute warning time there. Nashville's going to try to run this clock down. They just need to get into field goal range. We are tied at 17 Eastern Conference semifinal. That pass, there's Derek Walker fresh in this game. 16-yard pickup. Aikman with the hookup out to the 49. Stop just shy of midfield. That pass is incomplete. Rush up the middle. Aikman got rid of that ball quickly. There's a flag down. Owen Daniels is fine. It appears on the sideline there. They're going to hit Aikman for intentional grounding there. That is a questionable call, to say the least. Marty Schottenheimer is screaming at anybody wearing stripes in the stadium right now. He is absolutely livid on the sideline. In the meantime, that pass falls incomplete. Third and 20 from the Nashville 39. Minute 39 left in regulation. Aikman drops back. Fires. Deep out. Incomplete. Fourth down. Gardaki is going to come on to punt. Schottenheimer has not stopped yelling about that grounding call. And by the looks of things, he certainly had a, has, has a complaint. That seems somewhat ridiculous. But regardless, Gardaki's punt goes out of bounds at the 16. 45 yards. That's going to set up a first and 10 for Raleigh. Minute 25 left. They are at their own 16. Bobby Howfield has missed two field goals already in this game. A fact nobody in Raleigh will care about if he hits one here. Nashville utilizes a timeout there. They're going to try to pin Raleigh 
force them to punt and try to get possession. Dickey with a run only picks up a yard. Third and nine. Trent Cole with the stop there. Nashville uses another timeout. One timeout left. We'll see what Raleigh does here. They hand it off. Dickerson is stuffed. So Nashville is going to get this ball back before the half. Using that last timeout, Curran is on to punt. He has been terrific all day. Seems like he gets a good hold of one here. That ball is going to be taken. No, they let it, it goes out of bounds. 47-yard punt. Nashville is going to start off here from their 34. Minute one left. Pass to McDuffie. Complete. 10-yard pickup. Wingo brings him down. First and 10. Nashville has used all of their timeouts. They're trying to get into range from Mike Colfer. They've probably got about another 20 yards to go here. Pass. Complete. McDuffie. McDuffie down to the 40. But he is not able to get out of bounds. Eric Turner with a great job there to keep him in. Nashville hurrying to the line here. We're down to 17 seconds. Clock keeps ticking. Aikman drops back. Quick out. Incomplete. Second down. Tended for John Hilton. Second down. 11 seconds left. Probably need about at least five yards, probably ten, incomplete. to give Cole for a good shot. That Third pass, down. incomplete. That seemed further than they really needed to go there. I'm not sure I love that play call. Five seconds left. Third and ten. Aikman drops back. And they're just they're going to air it out here. But it's not really a Hail Mary. What an First odd down. decision. Fred Taylor makes the catch over the middle. And I just don't get that. Nobody went deep. Nobody went short. I'm not really sure what kind of trickery was going there, but that was a failure in every meaningful way. So we go to overtime. Nashville wins the toss. They will get the ball to start. O.J. McDuffie and McDuffie with a great return out to the 45. So the crowd here was in as much of a confusion about that last play of regulation as I was, but they have kind of come back now after that McDuffie return. The energy is here again. Aikman fires to Owen Daniels for a shorty. Defensive holding on Raleigh. Nashville will take the penalty more than the play. First and 10, that gets them to midfield. Touchdown would end it. Field goal and Raleigh will get the ball back. Aikman short pass to McDuffie, picks up six. James Farrier with the tackle, second and four. Aikman, kind of a pitch wide to Taylor there. Pick up a three. Bill Stanfill, who was injured earlier in the game, has come back in. Stanfill brings Taylor down third and one, and this is huge. Handoff, Taylor up the middle, first down. Fresh set of downs. Mike Kofer on the sideline, kicking into the net, waiting for his opportunity, although Nashville would much rather put it into the end zone and end this baby. Aikman drops back. Fires over the middle. It's complete. Arthur Marshall. Arthur Marshall's going to score. Marshall with the touchdown. The Nighthawks win. The Nighthawks advance to the Eastern Conference Championship game against New York next week. Arthur Marshall, of all people, not where you would have expected the game winner to come from, but 37 yards, just a blown coverage. Marshall in Nashville wins. Raleigh Devastated, 23-17, and the Nashville Nighthawks, who were penciled in to the LSUFL championship game after their 6-0 start before things went upside down for them this season, have righted the ship at the right time. But man, that is a devastating one for Raleigh. Trent Green, a solid game there. No touchdowns, but look at Eric Dickerson. Dickerson was didn't run for anything in the first half. Ends up the day with 122 yards, two touchdowns, and, I mean, just a terrific performance. Dickerson showed why he's arguably the most dynamic player in the league um, with this second half. But Nashville weathers the storm, weathers Raleigh's comeback in the second half, and in overtime, the Nashville Nighthawks advance to the Eastern Conference Championship game. They will go to New York to face Paul Brown's New York Towers next week. Wow. What a matchup. Folks, this is my first broadcast 
<laughs> and uh, it is really exciting. Let's go look at this Look at this replay again. Um, man, I could not have asked for a better game to do. I hope if you have tuned in, there's the Marshall touchdown again to this, um, that you enjoyed it. Um, I had a great time doing this. I will be doing the Western Conference semifinal game between Omaha and Hawaii sometime in the next couple of days. And I will announce all the all of the um, playoff games in this and my other dynasties, as well as boxing stuff going on with the title bout to Fight Night Conversion Project. You can read more about that on the website. But um, thank you for checking this out. Here's the uh, Eric Dickerson fumble. This was This was a big play. Um, I actually thought he was going to break that one and go the distance. Um, that that fumble was was a rough one to handle. Um, but um, you know, Raleigh came back from that and they had their chance. Um, but yeah, so this 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 game was about as exciting as you could have asked for, and a a fitting matchup between these two teams. And uh, and this is my favorite part of Dynasty is when the games just create the storylines. I don't play; I just kind of watch and then write to the stories. And, and now announced to the stories as they come up. And uh, so the things that happen are, are, are pretty awesome. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Visit the website. Got some cool stuff going on there. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube if you haven't already. Be good to each other, and we'll talk soon.